Uh, hi, thank you for giving me this opportunity for presenting my thesis work. Uh, I'll be talking about modeling, simulation, and implementation of primary mirror control system for the prototype segmented mirror telescope. Uh, so this work was done under the supervision of Professor Padmakar Pariyar at IIA Bangalore. So uh, this is the outline of my thesis uh, introduction, and then we built an actuator for a PSMT telescope. This is a soft actuator. We also built the uh, controller, closed loop controller required for uh, controlling this actuator. Then we built a novel test equipment called as dynamic load loading assembly for uh, checking the performance of this actuator. And then in the second half, we also built uh, a code SMT tool, which is used for uh, simulating the uh, primary mirror control system of an entire segmented mirror telescope. And we did several case studies and also we implemented entire local and global control system into a network control system based uh, uh, control hardware. So, conclusion. So, uh, the motivation for this was obvious that uh, India is partner in 30 meter telescope and uh, uh, we are giving quite significant share uh, in this uh, telescope from our side and all the existing telescopes which are of 10 meter class are of segmented and TMT along with ELT are going to be segmented mirror telescopes. So we wanted to get hands-on experience as well as develop some uh, te techniques and technologies required for uh, controlling these telescopes. So that was motivation and uh, to move further uh, as we know that there is a quite good uh, interest within the Indian astronomy community that uh, we need a 10 meter class telescope in coming time once we have access for 30 meter class telescope so moving towards that direction we thought that uh, let's build a small telescope of 1.5 meter and implement uh, all the techniques and technologies uh, required for such controlling such telescopes uh, for uh, initial prototype and then look forward for NLOT. so that was my aim and as a part of my thesis i focused more on uh, primary mirror control system which is responsible for uh, basically aligning the primary mirror of the telescope which is segmented in nature with the help of actuators and edge sensors. So edge sensors are the sensors which are uh, planted within the uh, gaps of the uh, segments whereas uh, actuators are responsible for correcting the position of uh, uh, segment in terms of tip, tilt and piston. So that was the uh, uh, initial idea that uh, let's build actuator and uh, control system required for uh, control controlling this telescope. So if when we did a detailed survey, a literature survey, we found that uh, previous segmented mirror telescopes were using rigid actuators, whereas upcoming telescopes are using soft actuator due to their obvious advantages. So hence we also selected soft actuator in our design. So this is the objective of my thesis to develop technology required for control of primary mirror segment, uh, primary mirror of segmented mirror telescope. And especially we focused more on uh, development of M1CS uh, required which is comprises of local and global control system of the PSMT and these are the sub modules which we develop along the way in our PhD. So uh, PSMT is a basically seven segment uh, test bed telescope with, uh, uh, with hexagonal mirrors of spherical, in, uh, spherical profile and uh, overall telescope will be of 1.5 meter and it will have active control system for correcting tip, tilt and piston uh, of the primary mirror and it will be comprising of 21 actuators which are soft in nature 24 uh, inductive edge sensors and will be placed on altazimuth mount so this is how the architecture of uh, PSMT's MNCS looks like and there, this is basically a stack of actuators and edge sensors connected to a global control system uh, via CAN network so I'll give details about the actuator so the, initially we derived the detailed design requirement uh, for uh, this actuator and uh, these are the key requirements one of the key requirement was uh, range of travel of plus minus 1.5 mm which is quite demanding for a soft actuator considering the flexures used there and the accuracy requirement was 25 nanometer with peak force of 23 newton so this was a conceptual design uh, and this is basically a voice coil based actuator voice scale is placed here which is surrounded by a uh, main spring which will take entire load and there is a position encoder which is nanometric optical encoder and the entire system is supported by a offloading mechanism so as to take care of uh, static loads which get built up due to the gravity vector so uh, we also did the uh, detailed modeling and found out the transfer function of this actuator by a uh, basic modeling study and we also simulated so as to ensure that this actuator is really viable and will work in closed loop 
uh, as per our requirement. So we did the detailed simulation. This is a simulation result. And after that, we fabricated this actuator at our IA workshop. And uh, one novel thing about this was we indigenously developed the voice coil required for this actuator, as well as we came up with the disc flexure based design. I will show some details in coming slides. These are the design parameters. So for voice coil, we did detailed electromagnetic modeling as well as uh, we uh, came up with the equation so as to quickly design this uh, actuate this uh, voice coils uh, and get their mechanical dimensions as well as force profiles. And we actually fabricated this uh, voice coils at our lab. And this is a calibration curve. And as you can see, the output force uh, kind of force constant uh, meets the uh, or rather nearly meets the design requirement and any deviation which you see here can be mitigated by closed loop operation further we designed came up with the uh, design of a uh, disc flexure which is basically responsible for giving the uh, softness to this actuator and we used to stack of two disc flexures as designed here and to validate with that it meets our range of travel requirement as well as post constant requirement we did the fem analysis and these are the calibration curves and uh, they quite meet they meet uh, uh, our requirement again and as you can see this is the calibration value whereas the design value was 0.63 newton per mm again as i said uh, any small deviations as observed here can be mitigated by closed loop operation so once we have actuator we thought of building a controller required for this so here we use latest psoc based uh, controller boards and this is a customized electronics required for giving the power to the actuator and reading the position information uh, which is based on the optical encoder this is a detailed block diagram of uh, entire actuator controller and what we're doing here mainly is uh, implementing a position loop so as to keep the position to the set point tuning loop for tuning the actuator because each and every actuator will have different mechanics slightly different mechanical properties so to mitigate that we uh, we do do tuning for each actuator separately now offloading loop so as to take care of the gravity loads on the actuator so this is the test setup at our lab this is a, a basic static force uh, uh, test setup we also build a dynamic test setup in coming slides i will show that and we did uh, detailed uh, conventional uh, tests, basically IO input output mapping, relay tuning, closed loop step response and steady state response, closed loop position tracking and offloading. And all these tests were able to meet our requirements. But whereas what is more important is to do dynamic testing. For that, we were not having any obvious choice because uh, we have to use, uh, actually we had to send these actuators to uh, the real site and test them there. So instead of that, we chose to build a uh, dynamic loading assembly, which is a test setup, basically laboratory test setup to simulate wind, in, uh, wind induced disturbances on the actuator. And uh, we initially did the modeling of this also, and this also needs to be uh, soft in nature so as to avoid any loss of force due to the friction. So those things were taken care of by modeling and analysis. And this is the actually fabricated dynamic loading assembly along with one of the PSMT actuator. And here you can see the uh, calibration curves. Basically, these are validation curves in, the, in which what we do is we collected the wind data from actual sites. We have data from Gemini South Telescope, TMT's uh, Hawaiian site, as well as from IO Hanley. And we were able to induce those forces uh, from top. And we were able to validate that the induced force is having same dynamics as that of uh, in, uh, the actual wind data. We then we found around 80% correlation, which was uh, quite good enough. Uh, these are the actual closed loop responses. So here you can see we are introducing force on top of actuator and actuator is maintaining its position and around the zero error. Uh, this is by kind of consuming more uh, drive current as you can see here and this drive current uh, kind of uh, matches the profile of uh, wind force which is exerted on top of it. So it was able to do the closed loop operation quite well with uh, 12 nanometer uh, RMS tracking error, uh, whereas our requirement was 25 nanometer. And here our wind speed is four meter per second. And since PSMT is planned for Hanley site, we uh, modulated the wind profile so as to meet uh, so Hanley's. Have, uh, yes, sir. yes, sir. So this is the force track requirement, wherein we were able to achieve a constant force uh, disturbance on top of the actuator with five nanometer error. So further, I'll give a brief about the code SMT tool, which we developed 
uh, which it is basically taking the edge sensor information processing it and controlling the actuators but since there is no one to one mapping between the actuators and sensors we require uh, least square fitting but for this we use a svd based algorithm these are the questions i will not go in details of this whereas i'll show you one tool which we developed which is capable of uh, having these features wherein we can do parametric sensitivity analysis so as to see which pa which parameter is more sensitive for a given segmented mirror telescope and since there are so many uh, important parameters it is why it is uh, good to initially uh, simulate and find out uh, and rather constrain uh, important parameters so these are the ones size of the segment actuator position and then sensor position sensor type and number of uh, rings in the telescope and then we can we have a lot of other features including psf simulation and image motion studies so uh, this tool is capable of uh, having standard flavors of psmt nlot keck telescope sol telescope and tmt as well up to 12 rings uh, and we can simulate the dynamics of any telescope any segmented mirror telescope in this with our custom uh, parameters this is a sample result where you can see the actuator edge sensor uh, state as well as the mirror uh, shape and its corresponding psm psf shape and here you can see with one iteration we were able to achieve uh, from 85 nanometer to 20 30 nanometer uh, correction in the image psf uh, further we have done two case studies which will not go in detail but these case studies are basically to see effect of wind and vibration on top of the entire telescope this is called as active control simulation study and another study we have done is error multiplier analysis wherein segmented mirror telescopes are prone to uh, something called as focus mode effect and that effect can be avoided but uh, we can mitigate its effect or reduce its effect by doing parametric sensitivity analysis sensitivity analysis um, by doing this error multiplier study which is can which can be done by using code smt tool so finally we have uh, implemented and yes sir so yeah, finally we have implemented yes. entire uh, local and global control system in real hardware where we have 21 local controllers a global controller which is connected via can network and we were able to demonstrate that uh, this meets our requirement of psmt's different modes of operation as identified here and these are the typical modes of operation for a given segmented telescope these are the test results to validate it meets uh, open loop and closed loop requirements for single and multiple actuators and yeah in conclusion uh, we designed we initially aim to uh, model simulate and implement primary mirror control system for uh, psmt we were able to uh, develop different uh, technologies like soft actuator its controller test equipment called as that dla as well as a core smt tool which is a generic tool for simulating segmented mirror telescopes and in coming time we plan to utilize these hardware and softwares for psmt and analytical so the publications thank you